Hi everyone, my name is Ginger. I am 18 years old. I am a filmmaker and movie lover and I really wanted to start doing these videos because I watch movie reviews on YouTube all the time and I love them, but one thing I didn't see was teenagers doing reviews. So hopefully these videos will give you a new perspective that you haven't seen before. So these are my top 10 favorite movies of 2017. Okay, number 10, Get Out, written and directed by Jordan Peele. This movie is about a guy who's in an interracial relationship with his girlfriend and he goes and meets her family for the first time and he's very uh, concerned with the fact that they don't know he's black. And so this movie shows the kind of racial tensions and it goes crazy with the horror and awkwardness that there is in this racist family. It had me on the edge of the seat the entire time. It was fun, it was hilarious at moments, and I can't wait to see what Jordan Peele has next. I really respect him for taking these risks that he did with this film and just going there. It was bold and I loved it. Number nine, Split, written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan and starring James McAvoy. This movie is crazy. It's basically about three girls who get kidnapped by a person with multiple personality disorder. Jane McAvoy is able to completely change his facial expressions, his mannerisms. I don't want to give anything away, but the ending was amazing. I love this movie from start to finish. Number eight, Blade Runner 2049. Let me just say, the cinematography alone is worth going to the movie theater and watching this film. It is the most beautiful film I have ever seen, without a doubt. I hope Roger Deakins, the director of photography, wins an award for this because he has been Oscar nominated so many times and has never won. And uh, Denis Villeneuve, the director, did an incredible job uh, maintaining a lot of the aspects of the original film and adding in a lot more. It's a very complex movie, I don't want to get too into it, but I thought this film was beautiful, it was extremely well done. Ryan Gosling was great, Harrison Ford was amazing, and I truly enjoyed it. Number 7, Call Me By Your Name, directed by Luca Guadagnino, starring Timothy Chalamet and Armie Hammer. It almost seems unscripted, it almost seems just like it's documented. I mean, the setting is gorgeous, it's in northern Italy, which is the director's hometown. It's really just captured in a really truthful and honest way that I don't see from other movies, so I can really, really appreciate it. Alright, number six, Mudbound, directed by Dee Reese, a female director who is awesome. This movie is a masterpiece. This is set in the 1940s talks about racism, war, motherhood. It's very rich. I found myself really caring for the characters. I loved, you know, rooting for the good guys and just, I found myself hating the bad guys. I mean, the actors were incredible. It's very powerful and I, I really loved it. Number five, Beauty and the Beast, directed by Bill Condon, starring Emma Watson and Dan Stevens. Uh, this movie was just pure magic. I love the songs and I thought the beast looked amazing, the visual effects. They mostly kept the story pretty much exactly the same, but they definitely added in some new things that I loved and it's just the type of movie that I would watch over and over again. Alright, number four is Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri, directed by uh, Martin McDonough and starring Frances McDormand. This movie is very neat. It's about a mother who is angry with the police for not investigating her daughter's uh, rape and death case. So she puts up three billboards to target them. What I liked about this movie was it really stuck with me, you know. I have to give a special shout out to Sam Rockwell uh, for his performance in this film. He really <laughs> went for it and did an amazing job. So I, I really enjoyed this movie and I think that it's very important to see. Down to the top three. Mother, written and directed by Darren Aronofsky, starring Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem. This film has gotten so much controversy. I know people who are obsessed with it, they love it, and I know people who absolutely hate it. Um, I am obviously one of those people who love this movie. It was just a masterpiece in my mind. I think that every line of dialogue, every visual, every 
uh, everything you see in this movie is a metaphor and contains so much symbolism for religion and for earth and for the way people treat each other in this world. I will never stop thinking about this movie. Number two, The Florida Project, co-written and directed by Sean Baker and starring Bria Venite and Brooklyn Prince. This movie is amazing. It is an independent film. It didn't get a lot of attention, um, but it really should because I think this film is so, it's so pure. It's about kids who live in a project in Florida near Disneyland. This movie really shines light on a new lifestyle that we haven't really seen in in film. I really enjoyed it. It just gave me a new perspective and it was done in such a beautiful way. It was funny, it was sad, it was happy. I loved it. I love this movie. Okay, we are down to my favorite movie of 2017. This movie is Good Time directed by Josh and Benny Safdie, starring Robert Pattinson. It was unique, it was funny, it was uh, frightening. Uh, it's about two brothers who are uh, just in the thick of a bad lifestyle. They commit crimes. Robert Pattinson is incredible in this film. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen another movie with Robert Pattinson, but he plays this just asshole, dirty guy, and he is so good, and I want to watch every movie with Robert Pattinson in it now. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy my top 10 favorite movies of the year. I'm excited to start doing more videos, and I will see you next time.